In this week's African Agri Overview, Jock will focus on the Mozambique maize market with the largest crop anticipated in 15 years. All in this week's episode, so make sure to stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Johnny van Amerwe and welcome to this week's African Agri Overview. Make sure to follow us on YouTube where we will share regular insights into the agricultural markets of Africa. For more detailed information, however, and detailed reports on Sub-Saharan African soft commodity markets, please make sure to contact Jacques Pinar. In the economy, the Brent crude prices have remained within a certain range since the beginning of last month and are currently trading at $73 per barrel. Global growth outlooks have been revised downwards, with China's economic recovery slower than expected, which puts pressure on demand at the moment. However, production cuts by OPEC and Saudi Arabia are still keeping prices relatively stable. But with that said, Jock will now tell us more on the maize market in Mozambique and why it's so big this year. In this week's podcast, we look at the Mozambique maize market. It is rather difficult to get any statistics on this market, so our numbers mainly based on the opinions of our contacts in Mozambique. So, bear in mind, it is our best guesstimates. This year, we anticipate a relatively large maize crop, the biggest since we started gathering information in this country some 15 years back. It is our opinion that Mozambique will be an important supplier of maize in the East African region, with Malawi and Zimbabwe the main likely beneficiaries. A brief overview of the Mozambique maize market. It can be divided into three main production regions, namely the southern region, the central region and the northern region, as indicated on the map. The majority of production is in the central and northern region, with the south probably producing no more than 10 to 15% of the national crop. Due to the vast distances between the regions, the southern region, which includes Maputo, usually imports its shortfall from South Africa, just makes sense from a logistical cost perspective, and therefore this market mostly trade on South African import parity. Given the vast distances between the regions and therefore different annual weather patterns, the size of the regional crops could vary significantly from year to year. Consequently, Prices between the regions can also differ considerably, especially when there are flows from one region to the other, where transport tariffs could be as high as $60 to $80 per ton. This graph illustrates our Mozambique annual maize balance sheet. For the past five years, as well as our 2023-24 forecast, production varied between 1.7 and 2.5 million tons versus annual estimated consumption of around 1.9 to 2.1 million tons. Annual imports for the southern region from South Africa typically range between 150 and 250,000 tons. Most years, Mozambique export informally to Malawi. The volumes are very difficult to guess. So for lack of a better number, we put in an annual number of 200,000 tons. Given the record expected crop for the 2023-24 year of 2.5 million tons plus and projected deficits in both Malawi and Zimbabwe, we expect more exports this season and penciled in a number of 450,000 tons. Overall, the 2023-24 maize balance sheet forecast seems to be a healthy one. Despite this, maize prices have remained firm during the early harvest campaign and observers now feel there is limited downside from current levels. The next graph illustrates the Mozambique maize price history. The graph illustrates how prices in the different regions can differ. Nampula is in the northern region, Baira the central region and Maputo the southern region. What does catch the eye is current relatively high prices despite expectations of a record crop. See the red circle. Given the record crop expectations, one would have expected the $200 per ton level would at least have been tested. The harvest only expected to peak 2nd of July and 1st of August, but observers see limited downside from current levels on the back of export demand to Malawi. It is still early 
in the season when one would expect local Malawi supply should meet their demand, but observers already reporting unusually high flows to Malawi. We believe import demand from Zimbabwe could also play a part later. Observers also feel that this year general regional price support are playing a role. If one analyzes historic prices, there is limited further downside for maize prices. Since 2017, there has not been one season where prices softened significantly after June, rather sideways or trended higher. General market view, prices could move in the $250 to $320 per tonne band delivered Nampula and Baira second half of 2023. Maputu should follow SA import parity. Thank you, Jauk. Very insightful. For more detailed information and reports on Sub-Saharan African soft commodity markets, please make sure to contact Jauk Pinar on the information provided. I'm Dr. Johnny van der Merwe and thank you for watching.